Hello, my name is Ethan Muncy, and my presentation today will be over technological advancement and social isolation. Throughout this presentation, I will be discussing my thesis, which is, because there has been an increase in both technological advancement and innovation, there has also been an increased sense of social isolation amongst individuals. I will be exploring the effects that social media has on its users, the effects of increased online socialization, and how rapid technological innovation could impact the workforce. The negative effects of social media. The world is moving further into the digital age. One poll showed that there is an estimated 2.77 billion social media users worldwide. Dr. Brian Permack is the director of the Center of Research on Media, Technology, and Health at the University of Pittsburgh. His studies show that the more frequently an individual uses social media, the more likely they will suffer from perceived social isolation. PSI means that an individual suffers from a perceived lack of support system, an increased sense of loneliness, and also individuals feel a disconnect between primary and secondary groups. Stephen Seligman, DMH, is a clinical professor of psychology at the University of California, San Francisco. He discusses the idea of the increasing dominance of cyber cultures within our society. So what exactly are cyber cultures? Cyber cultures are social groups and systems that are made up on the internet. Social media websites, forums, chat rooms are all forms of cyber cultures. For the majority of time on this planet, humans were entirely socialized in the physical world and in the physical world alone. But now, it is not uncommon to see young children with social media accounts, iPads and other tablets, and even phones constantly on technology. Cyber cultures can create a false sense of reality, especially for young developing minds. It is shown that cyber cultures can also lead to increased depression, anxiety, and it can even leave individuals with a sense of social alienation. According to one study, in the past five years, the rates of anxiety among teens and young adults has been on the rise. Also, social media is shown to increase social comparison among young adults. Social comparison is when an individual compares or judges their life in social standing based on what they see through social media or online. It is no surprise that young developing minds exposed to increasing amounts of online activity and social comparison may suffer from higher rates of mental distress. Now let's take a deeper look into how social isolation affects humans. Social Isolation and Its Effects on Humans Studies show that social isolation can have a profound effect on humans. It can impact our cognitive, emotional, and memory functions. A study on adult social isolation showed that individuals suffering from social isolation may have decreased memory capacity, increased anxiety, and even altered brain function. MJ Yang, a professor of psychiatry at Chang Gung University in Taiwan, 
studied social isolation in the workforce. He surveyed workers of a manufacturing sector of Taiwan. He surveyed 1,117 individuals on perceived estrangement, social isolation, powerlessness in the workplace, and drinking habits. In his studies, he found that 61% of the subjects reported an increase in their consumption of alcohol since they started working. 16.8% of the individuals reported problem drinking. This shows that social isolation can lead to an increased consumption of alcohol. This is especially true amongst blue-collar positions. If social isolation is on the rise alongside technological advancement and increasing online socialization, then it may be accurate to say that the whole sociocultural system is at risk of large-scale mental health crisis. Humans are stuck in a sort of mandated economic slavery. We have to work to earn money, ultimately to spend it on living expenses and other goods and services. Technological innovation is rapid, and it sounds promising, but it is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can lead to massive economic growth, but on the other hand, it is extremely unpredictable, and it can have the potential to displace large numbers of individuals from the workforce. Retraining the workforce to adapt to the growing technological innovation may prove expensive and difficult. Another thing that technological innovation is shown to do is outsource blue-collar positions to different countries, drastically losing pay and also experiencing unemployment. Innovation isn't slowing down. It demands for an increasingly knowledgeable workforce, which is causing a massive inequality between high-paying positions and low-paying jobs. Many positions are at high risk of being replaced by computerization due to improving innovations in technology. Blue-collar positions aren't the only ones at risk. Many white-collar positions are also at high risk as well. Things that were once thought to only be able to be done by humans, like truck driving, medical diagnosis, and law writing, are all examples of positions that could soon be replaced by technology. Which leaves the question, is our educational system prepared to retrain mass numbers of displaced workers? In conclusion, my key points of this presentation are increased online socialization may have negative side effects on frequent users, especially for developing kids, teens, and young adults. Studies contribute a rise in anxiety, depression, and social alienation due to increased cyber culture activity. Technological innovation may not be all bad, but it is something to be concerned about because it can be extremely unpredictable. It has the potential to displace a large number of workers. It demands for a new, well-educated workforce. And retraining and reintegrating the displaced workforce may prove difficult. I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you.